Hello, and welcome to another edition of In Focus Live. I'm your host, Amy Bolton. According to the Department of Veterans Affairs, there are roughly 22 million veterans in the United States and up to 550,000 just in Arizona. And when your job is keeping America safe, it can get a little stressful. Let's take a peek at just a few of the ways veterans get the support they need from other veterans, four-legged friends, and art. The challenge that we face today is that we're bringing home more veterans that are more scarred and beat up than we ever have in our history. And while these veterans do thankfully make it home, the reality of deployment takes its toll. Fortunately, there are many ways for veterans to find support here in the West Valley. When you come home, you can't go back to the old normal. There's just no way it's going to happen. So now you have to build a new normal, and that's what we help these people do. We help them build a new normal. Tony Madrid made it home from Vietnam in 1967, but it took him more than 40 years to learn to cope with the violence of war. Now he helps other veterans by leading a non-denominational weekly support group for combat veterans called Journey of Peace. We provide this environment in which they feel safe because, you know, the reality of war is that everybody gets wounded. There are the physical wounds, the mental wounds, and then there are those invisible wounds called combat trauma, PTSD, and TBI. And uh, those you don't see, but those are the ones that are driving the behavior. Those are the ones that drive all the symptoms that they feel. Joe is a technical sergeant in the Air Force and has been deployed to Iraq four times over his nearly 20 years of service. He credits his four-legged companion, Bella, for helping him stay grounded and connected. She's, she's been a lifesaver for me, liter literally and figuratively. She's just added emotional uh, strength to me, you know, instead of having a sense of feeling alone all the time. I have my dog who definitely lets me know at 5.30 in the morning <laughs> that I'm not alone. Charmaine is a staff sergeant in the U.S. Air Force. She too knows that pets can help fill a void and lessen the feeling of loneliness that some veterans experience. Having a dog is very impactful. There is a huge difference from when I was without them to how I am right now. I feel more, um, more whole with them in my life. Some veterans are also finding peace using their creative expression. WAM Art Association offers a program called Art, A Path to Healing, that helps veterans find a sense of purpose and accomplishment through art. Through the arts and through the support, places like WAM give the community a solid anchor that these people can go to and say, I want to be a productive member of society again. And for me, it turned 20 years of my life around, 20 years of torture around. Now it's like a new, a new life, a new start over. And it really does a heart good. And whether it's the connection of a support group, the companionship of a four-legged friend, or creative self-expression, all the veterans we spoke to want their fellow veterans to know that there is help available and that there's a whole community ready to support them. We're here and we're here for you. We're waiting for you to come to us. Uh, if I knew where you were at, I'd come pick you up. And if you need a ride, we'll arrange for it. Um, but just know that uh, we're here to help. We sincerely thank all of our veterans for your dedicated service and selfless sacrifices. For more information on veteran support in Goodyear, visit GoodyearAZ.gov. Now let's take a ride with our correspondent Christian Williams as he tags along with Drew McDonald from Parks and Recreation. Hey Drew, we were just visiting with some veterans at the dog park. We understand that you oversee park maintenance, including dog parks. Christian, parks workers oversee all the parks here in Goodyear, including those dog parks. Why don't you hop in? We'll take a look. Sounds great. Let's go. Woo! All right, Drew, we're off and running here with Video in a Van. So tell us a little bit about your role here in the city and what you do. Well, Christian, I'm a parks worker too. I maintain North Parks and we do everything from turf, arbitry, irrigation, um, you name it, we do it. Tell me about our city parks. How many parks do we have? What, what kind of amenities are in them? 
We have 17 parks around the city. We have two community parks. Um, and then we have also our washway parks, neighborhood parks. Uh, the washway parks are real cool. They're both a mile long. So residents love to come out here with their dogs and walk. Uh, there's also a uh, life trail back here at this park. Uh, our community parks are full of amenities, uh, basketball courts, sports courts, volleyball courts, etc. cetera. Um, just all around good looking parks. Great, I definitely can tell that, yeah. Can you tell me about the city's dog parks? How many of them are there? Well, Christian, we have two dog parks. We have uh, Roscoe Dog Park, which is our lar largest dog park. And then we have one tucked away in uh, Goodyear Community Park, just behind the softball field. So Drew, what is, what's your favorite thing about your job? Uh, the, best, the best part about my job is I'm on the front line. I get to interact with our residents every day. And just knowing that my job allows them to come to a gorgeous park and, and put a smile on their face, that's pretty good for me. That's awesome. All right, Drew, are you ready for the Rapid Five wrap-up? Let's do it. All right, so do you maintain your own yard or do you hire a landscaper? I pay an HOA fee. All right. <laughs> Bermuda grass or rye grass? Bermuda all the way. What is the scariest desert animal you've come across? Ooh, we come across a lot. Uh, black widows, rattlesnakes, and a tarantula hawk. Uh, is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes. Really? Yes. No. A meat in between two pieces of bread. Nah. Which is messier, dog parks or people parks? People parks. Why? The bathrooms. Ugh. <laughs> All right, Drew, well, thank you for uh, taking me around this park and uh, sharing with me more about what you do. Anytime, Christian. All right. Woo! Thanks, guys. Well, that wraps up this episode of InFocus Live. Be sure to catch the latest edition of the InFocus magazine for more information on what's happening around the city. Don't forget to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and check out GoodyearAZ.gov for the latest news and event listings. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Amy Bolton. All right, Drew, so, um, sorry. All right, I'm gonna ask that again. <laughs> it was funny. Oh, man. You know, <laughs> your, your reaction got me. <laughs> Well, that wraps up, I'm sorry. <laughs> I screwed up. <laughs> we should like play it. <laughs> and check out Goodyear Eat. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's okay, you can, hey, throw stuff at me. Let's see how I wear it, let's see how I handle it. <laughs>